New to the Reed family, the sawed pneumatic saw offers a safe cutting option compared to gas-powered chop saws. With multiple blade variations, the sawed powers through plastic, polyethylene, and steel pipe. The sawed pneumatic saw cuts PVC pipe, including C900, with minimal clearance under the pipe. Optional chain extensions, clampings, and blade types offer cutting diameters up to 24 inches. Refer to the Reed catalog for these optional accessories. The saw advice, sold separately, fits 4 inch to 12 inch diameter pipe and provides superior stability while cutting. The 17 pound, 1.5 horsepower saw it consumes air at 50 CFM at 90 PSI. This provides up to 300 powered strokes per minute. Prior to operating any reed equipment, carefully read the instructions and always wear the appropriate safety equipment, including safety glasses. If replacing parts or adding accessories, refer to the blade selection chart in the operator's manual. Start by removing the nuts and plate from the rail. Place the cutting blade into position and reinstall the plate and nuts. Be sure that the plate is in its proper position and the nuts are securely tightened. Next, attach the saw advice to the material or pipe you wish to cut. Always mount the vise on the section of pipe not being cut. This is usually to the left of the cutting area. Be sure the vise is secured tightly. This prevents saw kickback. Never attempt to make any cut without a securely attached vise. When cutting plastic pipe, use a 4 inch piece of rubber hose and place it over the sawed vise chain. This will reduce the likelihood of slipping. Now, mount the saw to the vise by pulling the plunger knob and sliding the saw over the vise shaft. Once the saw is securely in place, attach the air supply. Be certain that the saw knurled handle is in the off position to avoid premature start. Apply coolant if needed. Slowly rotate the knurled handle to allow airflow. Bring the tool up to speed and carefully position the blade on the cutting area of the material. Follow through the pipe with a constant downward motion of the arms, paying close attention when nearing the end of the cut. Never force the cut. If stopping the cut to change accessories, back the tool off and disconnect the air supply before modifying the tool. After modification, reattach the air supply and continue the cut. After the cut is complete, turn the knurled handle in the opposite direction to stop the air supply. Back the saw into a resting position. If your saw blade becomes dull, replace the blade. Sharp blades cut faster and require less feed pressure. Refer to the blade selection chart in the operator manual for proper blade selection. Please refer to your instruction manual for reference on the use of this tool and its accessories.